हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू येट अनदर वीडियो सो फाइनली अ मोस्ट अवेटेड अपडेट फॉर नथिंग फोन टू हैव बीन रिलीज बाय नथिंग एंड ट्रस्ट मी गाइज दिस अपडेट ब्रिंग्स अ लॉर्ड ऑफ इंप्रूवमेंट्स मेजरली इन द कैमरा सेगमेंट एंड आल्सो द फ्लूडिटी आफ्टर दिस अपडेट आई कैन कंफर्म नथिंग फोन टू रन क्वाइट स्मूथ एंड टिल नाउ आई हैव फेस एनी काइंड ऑफ जीटर्स और लैग्स सो इन दिस वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट एवरी चेंज एंड विल ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट द कैमरा परफॉर्मेंस बिकॉज वी हैव टेकन फ्यू फोटोज आफ्टर दिस अपडेट एंड यू गाइज विल बी शॉक टू सी द रिजल्ट नाउ विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट Let's get started. Okay, so here I have my Nothing Phone 2, which I have already updated. As I told you guys, I have been using this device since yesterday. After that update was rolled out. If you go to About section, you can see the version is Nothing OS 2.5.5, and it brings 1st April 2024 security patch. And this time it was a huge update. You can see the size, which is around 206. Generally, we don't get to see such huge updates from Nothing. But if you also see the changes and new features, there's a huge list of changes, improvements, bug fixes, and more. And guys, most of the Nothing users know they complain that they did not receive a notification about the update so if you guys haven't received the notification you can just go to the update section and check for the update and now let's talk about the new features first so first implementation what they have done that's layer to chat gpt integration on nothing os 2.5.5 for nothing phone 2 but for this you need to make sure you download the latest version of chat gpt from the play store and after that you'll be able to get the widgets so this is the widgets let me go to the widget section so here under nothing widgets you can see there's a new widget called chat gpt which consists of two different widgets one is multiple and the second one is single first let's talk about the multiple widget so here you'll get almost everything first option is like you can tap and open the chat gpt application itself and the second one if i scroll down here we have a voice assistant tapping on it you can see it says connecting and it's completely a voice assistant so you can have conversation with the chat gpt with the second option and the third option lets you directly click a picture from the camera application once you click the picture that will be sent to chat gpt and you can ask for anything related to that particular picture so these are the three options which they have added and the next widget is this single widget you can select anything from voice text and image they have also added a gesture option in the nothing x application wherein you can start the conversation with chat gpt using your nothing products so right now i have nothing ear 2 currently this is not supported at present nothing ear and nothing ear a only have the support of conversation with the chat gpt with the upcoming updates we'll also get the support with other nothing products so currently this feature is not supported on nothing ear 2 after that they have also added a button on the screenshot which you can see here so if i tap on it this screenshot will be directly sent to chat gpt and i can ask anything about it so as i took a screenshot or home screen i'll ask chat gpt to extract text from it and let's see i have the paid version of chat gpt okay here you can see the entire text has been extracted from the screenshot which i have provided so this is how it works and another interesting feature what they have added for example if i copy this text soon i tap on copy you'll see an option of chat gpt i can send this to chat gpt directly ask to explain and find that particular answer so these were some of the integrations layer to chat gpt now let's take a look at the other features what they have added first talking about the camera application so camera application got slight upgrade previously it was .44.47 now the version is .44.55 app version is slightly upgraded but you'll see a lot of improvements in the picture quality we'll talk about them first let's talk about the new add-ons what they have done so first thing is now they have added the ultra hdr mode which can be triggered from the settings or you also have the option to trigger from the preview itself so if you see this dot that means ultra hdr is enabled you can also disable it and you have the hdr option and the photos which i clicked all are clicked in ultra hdr mode by the way ultra hdr works with photos and portrait mode itself but we did click some night sky photos also and here are the photos which you guys can see i would say amazing improvements in the camera after this update if you see the colors of these photos which appears vivid and rich photos are bright and clear showcasing a good color balance overall the yellow and red are specially vibrant and there's pleasing contrast between the different hues present in the environment which contributes to the aesthetic quality of the images the dynamic range seems to be well captured in most of the photos with details visible in both the highlights and the shadows these images we clicked using the main camera and you can see the skin tones appears natural and consistent across the different lighting conditions this image displays a good balance with the skin tones neither too warm nor too cool the dynamic range is well managed especially considering the bright outdoor backgrounds details in the skins are visible without being overexposed or underexposed the color rendition seems true to life with no apparent color cast in the night mode we can see a good level of details in the darker areas without significant noise the lights and shadows are well balanced in challenging light condition the colors appears to be true to what you would expect at night with warm tones from the artificial light and the cooler tones in the sky 
considering these images are night the images appears relatively sharp the portrait picture shows a pleasant bokeh effect with the background nicely blurred skin tones are rendered naturally and the facial features are well detailed there's a good balance in the lighting on the subject's face which avoids harsh shadow or overexposed highlights the color contrast between the subject and the background is quite good making the portrait stand out i actually like the improvements they have done with the camera application what do you guys have to say let us know in the comment section below then after that they have also added the ram booster feature which you can find it in the settings system and here we have a ram booster i personally feel it's a gimmicky stuff but you guys can try out if you guys see any improvements then you can use it i always keep it off because i don't find it useful later they have also added the ringer mode option which was missing on nothing phone 2 so if you open the quick setting tiles the tile needs to be added manually so if it is not available here tap on this edit icon scroll down and you should find the option like vibrate silent or ring depending on the profile which you have set on your device and with this widget you can make changes in the ringing mode on your nothing phone 2 and finally they have also added this new recorder widget which can be found in the widget section so if you see here this is the recorder widget the newer one what nothing have added and i'll tell you a use case of it you can record the calls using this widget so if you plan to record the calls using that widget make sure you select the second one which says mic and system i'll select it and here if i make a call and if i tap on this recorder widget the call will be recorded we have done a dedicated video which you can see on the screen i'll leave that video in the description below you guys can check out how exactly it works and there won't be any kind of announcement if you record any call so very good implementation done by nothing and after that they have also introduced a new battery widget which you can see here so i did notice that before this update also this widget was already there i have a screenshot let me show you so i think this got added with the app updates you can see here this screenshot was taken yesterday at 6 50 and that time also this widget was available and is the same widget which you can see here if you have different devices connected it will show you the battery level and other required information about that product's battery so this was already available on my device within app update and later they have also added a new option which is called glyph interface debug so basically for general users it won't be that useful let me search that so this thing can be found in the developers option and basically what it does now developers can build the application and integrate the glyph lighting with their application so by default it will be turned off and as said it's not useful for general audience developers can use this feature to integrate glyph support in their applications and after that they have done some improvements and bug fixes and trust me guys after this update this device feels buttery smooth i haven't faced any kind of jitters or lags since yesterday i updated the device around seven o'clock and i've been using it there were no lags to be seen the app closing animation app opening animation everything is perfectly done with this update now you have already seen the camera clarity plus in past we also used to see the laggy camera but that thing have also been taken care by nothing and now i can say it's one of the polished software what nothing i've released for nothing phone 2 and the way nothing team have worked on the software i would really appreciate and a huge thumbs up to nothing and guys i'll be soon dropping of in-depth review if you guys have any kind of questions drop them in the comment section below so this was a quick look on the latest update for nothing phone 2 which is one of the best update till date as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day Never hear me, bitch. Nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief. Uh.